Hello and welcome to the computing tour for Birmingham City University. I'm Alex, a second year computer science student studying here. Today I'm going to be taking you around the facilities here at BCU. Right now we're here in Steamhouse. If you're coming onto a computing course you may be spending time in here doing your innovation fest where you'll be presenting your project that you worked on to industry professionals. So Steamhouse is a £72 million conversion of the old bicycle factory that used to be here. This is one of the larger learning spaces that we have here at Steamhouse, completely built around computing. Um, the entire building is modular, all these walls can be opened up and these classrooms can be made absolutely gigantic. So here's another space here at Steamhouse for sort of like breakout rooms or for independent learning, places you can go as a group to work on projects. To the left of us there is the business space where businesses come in and they can work on projects there and also allows for students and staff members to integrate with the tech industry. If you'd like to learn more about Steamhouse, there's a video link in the description. And now I'm going to take you over to Millennium Point. Here we are at Millennium Point. This is the level four project space, the space you'll be using in term time to work on things such as the innovation project. It's also the home of the Makers Lab, which I'll be showing you in a little bit. It's a completely transformative and modular space. Uh, recently, Birmingham City University has spent six and a half million pounds in revamping the Millennium Point building. It's also the area where we will be holding industry events. One of the things that I want to show you very quickly is the lap safes here. So Birmingham City University has one of the largest collections of lap safes in Europe and they're not just here in the Millennium Point building but there's also ones over in Parkside and Curzon as well as Steamhouse. Um, you're allowed to take a laptop out if you haven't got one uh, personally and you can use it while you're at the university for about six or so hours at a time. Uh, we also not only have Windows uh, laptops but also MacBooks. So here we are in the Makers Lab. This is where you'll be spending time as a first year student working on Innovation Fest. This is uh, basically where the magic happens, right? So in this room, uh, there's a bunch of different component parts and things to work with your systems, uh, such as 3D printers. So what you can do is you build a schematic up in a piece of software, we send it to the machines, and they can print out component parts for your project. There's also a bunch of different other components here at the university that the university offers to students so that they can use for their projects, such as Arduino microcontrollers and Raspberry Pis, which are sort of like the heart of your system. You write some code, you flash it onto the microcontroller, and then it can control the system that you've attached it to. So over here, we've also got uh, a bunch of component parts that you'd be using, such as light sensors and motion sensors and buttons and keypads and things like that as well. So then we've got a bunch of previous projects here as well. Here's Sign Genie, which is a sign language interpreter. You, know, you sign in front of it and it will send back the sign language on the screen here. Um, you can find out more about this project in the description below showing you how they built it from start to finish. We also have laser cutting facilities at university, so if you need you know, a frame cut out for your project, for example, like we've got here, you can use the laser cutter and cut out little component parts that all fit together. Like a nice little housing for your project. Okay, so now I think we're gonna head down to level one, which houses the network labs and the games lab. This is one of the games labs here at BCU. This is more of a high spec facility to help with rendering and animation and you know, running the games that you create as a games development student. As well as that, we've also got the different component parts you'd need to build a project. We've got the VR here, so you can experiment with VR. Within the Games Lab, we also hold events such as Games Jam, where students from across Birmingham City University to come together to create a game within 24 hours or 48 hours and present it to a panel. So this is one of our networking labs here at BCU. This is a Cisco networking lab. All the hardware in here is industry standard and the majority of it is Cisco related. This entire room and several other rooms on this floor are a complete separate LAN network from the rest of the university. Uh, and you can you know, run tests and run simulations and try and configure and connect to other computers within the labs. The software that we use here is called Cisco Packet Tracer or Netacad. This is what we use to prototype our networks and then you can actually physically build them using the hardware in the room uh, to see how it works in practice. So this is one of our many computing labs here at Birmingham City University at the 
College of Computing. Uh, we have over uh, 20 computing labs here at the university with all kinds of different software on them dependent on the course that you're doing. We have experts here from industry working as lecturers that have that real world experience and incredibly helpful with helping you to complete your coursework and as well as get any additional advice and sort of guide you in the right direction. This is one of the big open communal spaces where you can come and catch up on work. Brand new Macs here that you can work on as well as Windows PCs over there at the back. You can also see that there's more lap safes here so if you want to use a laptop you can get those as well. Along with that there's also the main IT help desk here where you can come in and ask questions if you've got any issues. That was just a taste of computing at BCU. If you'd like to experience it yourself, come along to one of our open days or applicant taster days in the future, as well as if you'd like to know more about the student experience, you can watch this video right here. Still here? Go watch the video.